you don't have to watch me do all this because it gets tedious. At the end, I've cut the last one in half to go around the pelmet board. So the last one is half. Here on my table you will see both the lining and the, the main fabric is on the table ready now to go together. The, the lining is on its right side waiting for me to put the main fabric together as well. But what I shall do is I'll turn it around so you can see it. Now it is so long all of it cannot fit on the table here it is the rest of it so I'll show you the section I'm going to switch it round now here it, here it is now we're looking at it upside down but that's how it is now at the moment and it's on my table here it's on the floor the rest of it it's on the table so looking at it from the top section let's look at it from this section you can see it's got a kind of a semicircle there I suppose if I had enough big enough table it would be a full circle so there's the bottom as well there's the the lining I'm going to put both on top of each other and then um, go from there but that's it so far you can see the panels as you can see I did decide to put this, this section in so here we go I'm so pleased because every one of the themes so far are meeting together. Now it's come to the time now that I've got to stitch all the way around the edge. And I've got to take this very slowly and I don't want to waste a lot of fabric I'm going to go very close up to the edge and that's all this bit is all about And now I've got to sit here and nip all the way around. I've got to sit here and just nip and tidy this up and make this small because there's curves. So that it's when you um, iron it, it's nice and free and sits nicely. So I've got all that to do now. this point here I will iron some bonder web to help to keep the lining from showing And also at this section 
just nip it as much as possible because I've nipped it already but it just needs to be a bit more freer all this takes a lot of time right so that's that done now imagine when I say I give myself a lot of work this is exactly what I mean when somebody asks you for your ideas it's very difficult for you to keep quiet because you want to give them the best as well so we turn that in it's still warm so try not to get it sticky turn it in That's the point we're working at the moment. So we want to stop that lining from showing. So we're going to iron it, but now I've got to be careful how I iron it. So I've got to iron it from the other end and hide that. So each one of these has got to be sorted. As you can see I'm pushing the lining upward and it causes this flick and that effect as well is also on shirt collars just for I'll mention it so that it when you wear it it stays down so we're going to iron now this so that it remains So the bonder web, which is double sided, is going to now stick to the lining and the main fabric. Notice how I give it just a little pleat here, because it's not going to show. And iron that upward. Sometimes you've got to know when to leave things alone. So that's that section done and then I pleat it. So what I intend to do now, when I've done the whole lot, when I've done the whole lot, I'm going to go back to my machine and stitch that together there so I'm going to mark it probably one inch down, stitch it together there and then at the back 
where my nips are, they are nips to nip. Which nip is it? There to there. I'm going to stitch that all the way down. Put that there. Stitch it all the way down and then you'll see the, sh the shape take. It'll form. I'll do one and then I'll get on with everything else. In fact, yeah, I'll do one and show you now. Let's put my marker back on. I first of all start off by putting the two together and when I stitched on top here which is making a box pleat I'm going to make sure that I stitch just before the panel that I've put in so I line it up they're both together centralize it symmetrical make it symmetrical and I also make sure the bottom is even as well so anything I can get rid of, I get rid of up the top by pushing it out, like getting rid of air bubbles. I can feel the bump, so I sew just before the bump, and then I'm only going to sew down, say, one inch downwards, just one inch. Now that's not going to be noticed if you hit and miss with the others. So now then I go to the center and I open it up and I make a box pleat. So there's my box pleat. So that's open up. So now I'm going to do the same again, box but in reverse. So I'm going to put the box within a box. So I've got the two seams here and I've lined them up together, two seams, but here I've changed it again because what I'm supposed to have done was stitch here, if I stitched on this line it will maintain that my 12 inches along here will be 12 inches, but you know when I said it gets too bulky at stitching on top of, so I've decided now to move away from the bulk, right? and I've moved in one inch. Now doing that, it, there's repercussion for uh, uh, adjusting. It's like building a house. You decide to put a wall in and you change it and then you, you move the wall and then you think, ah, when it's all finished, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I've got, I've got too much space, I've got too little space. So here now, by moving this wall, stitching here, by it looks like one inch or one and a half inch, I have made my whole valance longer but I will adjust it when I move so now at the bottom now where my pattern is I make sure that the pattern lines up get rid of any air bubbles push it all out to line it up at the top and it's still even and then I'll go ahead and I'll stitch it at this point I decided not to stitch all the way down I said I was going to but um, you can if you wish, um, but I decided I'd like it to spring open when it's finished. Down here is just what, one inch, or just under one inch. Now I'm not going straight down with my stitch. I am following this line, so I'm stitching it at a slight angle. because I want the bell to cock out, so I, kind of, to give it shape. Now that I've done that, excuse me. Hi Sandra. Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm making it up now. Yeah? So, so, so it should be finished at least by Monday. So I'm working on it now, yeah. 
yeah because um i don't know what time i'm going to stop work today but i'll i'll do it to a certain point then i stop so now i hope we i hope you like what i've done i'd like to send you i, I would like to that oh, oh that's great okay it, it looks good i I've, I've um i kind of did a, a little bit of an, um a different but you should like it yeah all right so what is it so do you so what so i'll see you to bring it if anything if i finish monday i'll see you on tuesday if i finish monday yeah all right then you're welcome bye now that was the owner of the curtains want to know when i'm gonna finish I'm using the edge of my table here to help me to line up the bottom of each one of these scallops uh, because don't forget now I'm going to re put where recut it or fold it where my where I want my velcro to go so from the center from the center of the, the edge, I measure 10 inches. Ten inches. And that's where it's gonna fold under. Now originally I wanted a two inches fold under uh, because I was going to put buckram in it but it became so bulky, I decided not to. So this 10 inches now, is where it's gonna fold. It's okay. It's very hot to here. I need to just switch it on actually. I need to get out of here. Yeah, you could either decide to put an envelope on it and finish it off that way but it's pointless if you've got all this fabric but if you put an envelope on it then you don't have to hand stitch which I dread that um, so I'm, but I'm not going to cut this off to go and put an envelope on it so I'm going to just fold it under and let that be the finishing yeah so this will now be my my 10 inch that's my 10 inch
majority of these pins will stay in it until I hung it until I hang it up. Then when I hang it up and steam it, then I'll let them go. That'll help me to line it up properly and then free it and then when it goes free it can do what it wants. So that'll, those pins will stay there. Now if I can get this bit underneath my overlocker, I will tidy this bit up and see if it can go through it. Other than that, it breaks a lot of needle. I'll just leave it at that. I've just overlocked this. I will need to find that the 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 camera wasn't rolling. It wasn't recording. So anyway, it's just been overlocked. The whole lot. It was thick. I would have liked to have gone closer, but this is so thick it will definitely break the needle so I stayed at a distance. Hello here we are once again the curtains are now finished you've seen the making of the curtains and now you're actually going to see them in the house now I was on the phone speaking to the owner of the curtain at, at one point now you can meet Sandra. Hello <laughs> right now that I finish her curtains her husband is standing right behind the, the camera and he doesn't want to come into this. But, you know, that's men all over as mm. usual. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Speak. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, Sandra, uh, what, uh, what do you think of your curtains? Oh, they're lovely, beautiful. I would recommend you to anyone, anytime, any day. The curtains are lovely. You always do a wonderful job and I'm very pleased. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What does she mean by I always do a wonderful job? I've known Sandra for how long now? About uh, 13 years. 13 years? Yes. Is that when I did your curtains? That's right. For a different house? That's right. And then it was relocated downstairs and she's got lovely swags and tails. I might show you them actually. 13 years ago they were done and she called me back to do this and I am thrilled that my customers call me back endlessly and if they move again <laughs> I'll be there again. Right so as you can see um, when I was making it I said um, she, she had an idea what she was getting yes that's right and then I said okay then I'll just do it a little bit more fancier and then um, what I did is um, I put an extra fabric in between I'm not sure if you can actually see it now but it's there and it's now springing out which is what I expected the curtains the curtains which were you bought them from the shop yeah but she what she did is she bought long curtains I think they were probably around 90 inch drop that's right and then I had to cut them in half so this was like alteration but you can see they're brand so the curtains curtain. were alteration and we cut them to fit the window the curtains were actually eyelid curtains so this is it so I'm I'm um, I'm glad and I'm happy with them and I'm also happy with the cushion. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Lovely. 